What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Big Natty Vapes coming at you with a review. Real quick review. Now we're going to go over the Troll version 2 by Watofo. Sorry about the video quality. Sorry about my location. I am really lazy. I'm on vacation. So I'm doing things the simplest and easiest way for me. So we will be diving down here closely shortly. And we're going to take a look at the Troll. Alrighty, so here we are folks with the troll. Um, show you basically the boxes. Uh, obviously you can see I uh, thought it was so nice I bought it twice. Uh, got it in black and in stainless steel as you can see on the markings there. Um, you know, atypical with TOEFL uh, packaging. Um, you have your scratch off authentic authentication area, your QR code that will take you to the website. All your different warnings and 18 and older um, inside the box. You get the pretty little tri tri tool or whatever T wrench you want to call it. You get the this is the drip tip that's actually installed on the uh, RDA when you first get it. It's kind of like hollowed out. I guess that's to help to dissipate the heat. Um, I didn't really personally care for it uh, myself. You also get the Delrin Chuff, as you can see here. That is, you know, again for me, I'm not into the big, big giant chuffs anymore. So what I elected to do instead. was I used a 510 adapter and I used one of these Petri style uh, kind of wide bore 510 drip tips instead. So that's kind of what I use. For me that provides plenty of uh, airflow, uh, allows me to uh, chuck some pretty good you know, clouds with it. But the, the flavor on this one is actually excellent. Um, love the engraving on the new version 2. Uh, versus the version one, which was like a laser etching kind of deal. Um, one of the things that I mean, they've also changed on this one is the airflow control. Let me get this off without knocking everything all over. Is you now have airflow that goes diagonally and horizontally, so you can pretty much change your airflow however you see fit okay and again you know what doing one thing one side you're doing the other uh, sad part is there is no single coil option uh, on this uh, RDA um, now in the box should have finished this up first in the box like I said outside of the little wrench you get you get some of their little comp coils some of their little competition coils. It's like a twisted wire. Uh, you get a package of you know more O-rings. I think some uh, yeah some other sets uh, grub screws are in there and a package of cotton. So that you you know you pretty much get everything you need in the box. You shouldn't have to need a one for anything. As long as you got building tools, you should actually be able to build this as soon as you uh, open it up out of the box. Um, outside of that, as far as you know, what I think about the actual RDA itself, you know, as far as its uh, performance, um, definitely a win. Like I, said, I, I also own the version one troll, and I loved it. I think what makes the tr the version two a little bit better than the version one. Is that it's actually shorter, which you know reduces that chamber size in there inside it, which also harnesses that that vapor. Which also, you know, when you put your lips on the drip tip, you're going to be closer to the coils than you were on the uh, the version one. So, turn this around here. You can see all the information at the bottom. See Troll version two or Tofo. And it's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much going on here. Let me uh, get to the inside. Bear me one moment. And this is the deck. You got three O-rings. 
Now, when you get this thing, those O-rings, of course, are not lubricated. So it will be very, very difficult to get that top cap off of that base. Um, once you do get it lubed up a little bit, it slips on and off really easily. And it, it, it's, it's a nice, firm grip, but not too hard where you can't take it off. Um, as you can see, I already got a building there. I'm not taking it out. But you can kind of see how large the... Uh, post holes are in that it is velocity style and from what I'm from what other reviewers have told me and the specifications I've seen this is a 10 millimeter deep juice well so this can hold a ton of juice so you know you can drip pretty well in it and you know vape away for several pulls and you know re-drip you don't have to drip that often um, Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to show you on the Troll. Uh, well, let me show you the black one. Um, I know a lot of people wonder, is it like the anodized black or is it painted? It is definitely anodized. You can see the engravings in there. As you can see, and it is black through and through. Now, I haven't tried to scratch it with anything on the inside to see if, uh, you know, the raw metal will, will show through that or not. But, you know, for all you brave people out there, if that's what you want to try, go for it. Um, I'm not going to purposely destroy my property because um, I did buy these. I did not get these for re uh, free. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, outside of that, that's pretty much all I have. Um, I'm going to come back up to show you my pretty face and we're going to get out of here. Alright guys, that's basically all I got for you for the troll. Um, again, it is a winner. Being that it's a Watofo product, you can pretty much find this anywhere. Um, pretty much most websites are going to be carrying this. Uh, I think I only paid $25, I think. Don't hold me to that. Um, but definitely, you know, well worth the money, very affordable RDA, and it's great for your cloud chuckers and for your flavor chasers. Actually, for me, it gives me the best of both worlds. I can actually get great flavor, um, juices that I'm very familiar with, taste exactly like they're supposed to taste in that RDA, as well as producing more than adequate amounts of vapor for me. Um, anyway, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. If you like, please subscribe um, and come check us out at vapeshack.org. Later, and I will see you on the next video.